Well, that was interesting. You should write a bit more about Cuba. You write some interesting things in here about Fidel and, and, and Che, but personally, I don't think it's enough. The second half of this book, flawless. You give me this much, you give me everything, and I love it. The first half of the book, though, I have your backstory, so I can fill in the missing holes. I can connect the dots. But an average reader who doesn't know you can't do that with what's here. There's a niche for everything, but I'm not interested in putting you in a niche. What I'm interested in is the most number of people being interested in your story. The reason that we want to hear about the end of your life is because something happened earlier in your life that draws us in. I need that stuff in the book. I have the benefit of that because I know you personally. But the person who opens this book for the first time may not. And they need the background information so that when they get to page 229, the story about your wrinkled flesh, the feelings that you have about aging, all of this becomes very compelling. If you hit a home run, you play baseball in Cuba, you play baseball in Cuba, right? I wrote what I wrote, Andrew. Here you go, sir. I'm not changing a word. No hay nada peor que venderse cuando nadie te quiere comprar.